Hi everyone, I'm Mishka and welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Our Life Beginnings and Always, we are going to be, oh my god, starting the Cove Wedding DLC and in the last episode we officially finished step four and this is bittersweet because it's I don't want it to end. I love this series. I've been doing it for almost a year. It's been the main series on my channel for so long and just for it to not be there is really like depressing for me because I love this game and I know you guys love it too. And most of you guys come from my Our Life series. So, um, you know, it's just, it's really bittersweet, but it's also like, we're starting, you know, we're done with the game. We're starting over with something new. And, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I have been MIA for the past couple of weeks. And I will explain why. So, the first reason is I actually ended up getting a new kitten. And had major sleep issues for about a week. But now I'm fine. But I do have a senior cat who is 12 years old. And... <laughs> Um, sorry, he's been diagnosed with lymphoma, and he has not been eating, and I finally got him to eat today, so I didn't want to do anything, I didn't want to record until I got him to eat something, and I finally got him to eat something after four days, and the people at the vet didn't really do anything, they yeah it's just been really stressful and if I sound like I'm crying or I'm stuffy it's because I was crying a lot I was bawling my eyes out when I found out he had cancer um or he, he has cancer but yeah um but yeah but now I'm back so yeah let's not get that let's not have that get in the way so <laughs> before we get started make sure to subscribe button and share this video with your friends so they can find out about my amazing channel just like you have right now so yeah let's get it i hope you enjoy hello again thank you so much for getting the co-wedding dlc thank oh my god you're welcome because you're engaged to cove in this playthrough you can choose to continue your story in, into the wedding planning events with you like oh my god we need to do that we need to plan our wedding and you can always make a save here and come back if you want to return to the option later on. Um. No, wait. No, I don't want the wedding. Wait. Because you can choose. Yeah. Let's save this real quick in case, but I do want to play it. Alright, welcome to the Cove Wedding DLC. These events are separate after step four but it's not specified when it could be during the same summer the next summer year in the future springtime in california etc you can assume the timeline is whatever it needs to be to make sense for the choices you made to progress the relationship honestly i think it would be a year after because it took so long for them to get engaged and then now that they're engaged they took the time to like plan out the wedding or whatever or maybe because they have so many responsibilities it just took a while and now that it's like i'm gonna pretend like it's summertime whenever this is going on um and then now they're planning the wedding where they used to live so i hope that's an option before starting would you like to pick out an engagement ring for cove to wear Ooh. Yes, I want him to wear one now. No, no, no. I don't want him to wear one now. Okay. We hope you truly have... Oh my god, I'm already messing up my words. That's me, y'all. I'm the one who messes up the words. We hope you have a truly wonderful wedding. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Our wedding! Oh my god. Oh my god. No way! Is this our new place or something? Side by side on our purple dyed fox leather couch, you sat with your fiance, Cove. <laughs> oh my god, it's so nice to be back. The air in the chic office smelled non distinctly perfumed, though luckily it was a demure touch rather than smothering. A soft hum came from the air conditioning, gently flowing the scent around the room. 
It was the first time either of you had been there and you weren't sure if the atmosphere was meant to comfort or impress visitors. Oh, okay, this isn't like, I don't know what this is. For some people, it wouldn't make a difference either way, like with your own partner, for example. Cope's hands was intently grab grabbing, gripping yours. You could feel him trembling and hearing the squishing noise the coach made each time he shifted. One part came from his usual nervousness over these kinds of matters, and the other came from an almost uncontainable excitement for the same reason. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. This place was the headquarters of a well-known event planning agency in the area, and this office belonged to their planner for a, for a very particular type of special occasion, weddings. <gasps> you were here to plan your wedding together. Ah! Soon he wouldn't be only your fiance, Cove would be your husband, and on that occasion there was going to be a ceremony, re reception, and everything. You were overflowing with thrilled energy. With your vib vibration and Cove shivering, you hoped you both didn't slide down off the cushions. Today's meeting should be straightforward. Introducing yourself to the planning team, getting familiar with one another, and going over only some basics. The entire process would take multiple visits here and trips to other locations. Okay. Before setting up the appointment with a planner, you and Cope decided that you were going to set the wedding in or at least near Sunset Bird. <gasps> yes, okay, that's what we wanted. Or what I wanted. You also had a good idea of who would be attending, how large the wedding needs to be, and a few other details related to your lives together going forward. That was as far as you had gotten in the process when you decided to bring in assistance. All the planning was going to be great, you thought. Oh my god, we're going to have this big, bougie wedding. <laughs> it's going to be dramatic. There's going to be flowers everywhere. I want it on the beach. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't wait. Cope noticed the dreaminess in your eyes and the corners of his mouth lifted hopefully. <gasps> Hi, step four, Cope. Oh my god. I kind of wish we got the option to like change up his style because I feel like it would be different. Than step four that would have been a nice feature in this but of course it's a dlc it's not gonna have that but it's okay his second hand reached over to claps both yours and his first your feet shuffled against the black and white stripped rug that covered over the center of the hardwood floor as you returned to smile back here we are <gasps> oh, here we are it's really happening his fingers squeezed your hand deeper into his hold I, you know, I'm not really good with, well, any of this, but I'm sure that whatever it ends up being, like, it's going to be amazing. It has to be because I'm marrying you all. You're so sweet, Cove. You're so wonderful. He was too sweet sometimes. And then there was a series of quick knocks. Your conversation stopped as you shared unsure looks between one another. Um, come in? In response to Cove's words, the shiny wood door off to the side swung open. Hello, lovebirds. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Baxter? I can't scream right now because my cat is in here and he's trying to sleep, the one with my older cat. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking. Oh my god. 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 I'm shaking and I just got chills. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Baxter! Holy crap! Oh my god. Standing in the entryway was a, a tall man about your age. His dark gray hair was swept to the side on his neck was a distinct Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> his curved grin and brown eyes grew wide in sync. <gasps> Hallelujah, love would have been the life you two dolls had broken up Baxter! Oh my god! You dyed your hair per like purple? Oh my god! Cope stared while frozen in place a deer in the headlights, his mouth opened and closed again soundlessly. Baxter! Oh my god, the former tourist stepped further into the room while chuckling. I'm flattered you two people of excellence remember me too. Oh my god. Do you hear his voice? That's wonderful. <gasps> That's wonderful. Oh my god. I cannot pick between Bastard, Derek, and Cove. 
like right now obviously it's like it's cope because we haven't been able to do romance stuff with Derek or Baxter yet but oh my god they make it so hard to choose between the three of them like I'm going for Baxter right now because I love his hair oh my god let's be real he's fly <laughs> and I didn't even have to dress in black and white his style choices might have changed, but you realize now the design of the rug might not have been an entirely arbitrary choice. Oh my god, it was so exciting to see him! This was an incredible, unexpected reunion. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. It's been a while, years. I know. Yeah, it has been. Kof dropped his response heavily. The tone likely would have been even firmer if he still wasn't in disbelief that Baxter had reappeared in front of both of you and as a wedding planner of all, of all things, your wedding planner. <laughs> what happened? No one's heard from you at all until right now, I guess. Did you lose Mina's number in a taxi? <laughs> the more he spoke, the more a sardonic edge cut up to Cove. Well, as professionally as possible, Baxter strode to the other half of the, of the room and took a seat in the rolling office chair opposite the couch you were on. He used the tips of his feet to smoothly twist the chair's position so that it faced you completely as he continued the reply. I went back to college, eventually graduated, joined the great wide career world, grew up and learned some more. I'm still learning. To fully settle in, Baxter dropped an elbow on the armrest of his seat and rested his cheek against the propped up fist. That's the creative version. Life is a wonderful journey. The words were spoken slyly, inauthentically, and punctuated with a dismissive gesture of his free hand. It was impossible to tell if the sarcasm was purely in response to Cove's own sharpness or if there was something else. Ooh, are, is he jealous? <laughs> Even Cove raised an eyebrow how clear the displeasure was. Baxter was aware of the impression he was giving, but only half shrugged with one shoulder over it. His eyes drifted away from you and your partner. Whatever the story was, you definitely weren't getting the full version of it. I missed you. <laughs> a Ben formed in his brows a small sign of regret. So did I. Oh, oh my god. Baxter, I love you. Oh my god, I love you. I love you. I love you. Ah, that's my introduction taken care of then. Let's swing things back around to the real reason you came. You're getting married. Congratulations. I kind of wish we weren't now, but it's okay. <laughs> it's that bad to say. I want him. I want Baxter. Oh my god, I want him. <laughs> I want him for Mina. You were given off the enthusiastic round of applause from the audience of one. How did the engagement happen? It must have been wonderfully emotional. A shame I had left town before I could find out. Well, it had been like, oh my god, like what, five years? Oh my god. A found familiar flush of red crap over Cope's cheek. Well, we had come back to visit Sunset Road for Mina's parents' anniversary. It started out as a normal trip. On the last day before we had to leave, we went out to the poppy hill behind Mina's house. I, I had been waiting for the right moment the entire time, and that was it. I asked Mina to marry me. Oh my god, Cove. And she said yes. Baxter's like, oh, really? <laughs> the pitch of Cove's voice shot dramatically, going through that last sentence and got him shimmying in his seat. Just thinking back to that moment had him nearly cheering up from joy. Aww. How romantic and very fitting for the two of you. Baxter slipped out a pen out of his jacket pocket and tapped it against the desk counter at his side. He looked between you and Cove satisfied. Thank you for answering. Considering we are, were already acquainted, it should make the process that much better. I'm sure your special day is going to be one to remember. It Cove's uneasy single word was directed towards you. In a whisper, he elaborated on what that was supposed to mean. Are we really going through with this? Having Baxter plan our wedding? I'd like you to. Cove quietly yelped. It wasn't unreasonable that the person on the other side of the room could hear the conversation, but Cove had not expected him to answer. Oh, uh, I mean, I think I could do it well. I, th I can do it right, and there's very few weddings I'd like to go see off like a charm than this one. He spoke in a clung, salutatory way. Baxter's normal boldness was entirely missing while asking for this chance. Oh, you and Cove faced one another on the couch. The softness in his eyes and the sloping of his brows shared his thoughts without him needing to say a word. He was being swayed. You nodded to your partner. There was a pause and Cove spoke. Okay. 
While still on the couch, Coat brought his torso up to its full height and held his head high. The look on his face was determined. Since this, this is actually the reality that exists now, I've got a question for you, Baxter. Yes? Coat's strong stance began to crumble as he shrunk into himself once more. Is your offer for dance lessons still open? <laughs> oh my god, do you guys remember that from like the beginning of step three? Oh my god, that was so long ago. Your new planner gasped before quickly settling into laughter with a clap of his hands. Of course, always. That's a relief, I'm probably gonna need them. I understand completely, I'm here for you, and you as well, Mina, if there's a need. Um, you were a good dancer, but it would be nice to practice with someone. Yeah, I like that. Got it, that works for me. Now, he shifted closer in the rolling chair with a glint in his eyes and made him look like the teen he used to be. Let's roll up our sleeves and get into the details, which I don't mean literally. No need to crumple my jacket, but I'm going to have to ask you quite a few questions. I'm ready. So am I. To start, have we thought of possible surnames? Yours, his, what are you imagining? I don't care, I just want to marry her. But we have actually talked about it. Yeah, we're going with... <gasps> oh! No, not my last name. No, no, no. Both of us using his last name Holden or using a hyphen... Hyphenetic... Hy hyphenated. Okay, I can't talk. Rose Holden, Holden Rose. No, that sounds weird. Both of us are keeping our own last names. No, I want Holden. Mina Holden. That's what we've been waiting for. I'm getting it. Good to know. Mina and Cove Holden it is. Cove straightened up against the back of the couch. You could practically hear his heart pounding over your names being said as one that way. It made you giddy too. The rise raise of Baxter's eyebrows revealed his amusement and your reaction to what he was probably to him or to what to him was probably something one day but he was happy for you rather than mocking and what about titles in the road in the wedding bride groom it can be whichever you like honestly can i be a groom of course it's your big day <gasps> he's the groom and i'm the bride wonderful a bride and groom for the couple of the wedding baxter flipped open a notebook set on the desk can i get a deal of scale only an estimate it doesn't have to be a complete guest list and even if it was you never know how many of those invites will accept the us rsvip vps rsvps i don't know what that is don't stress too much over who's going to be in attendance oh cove stepped off the cloud nine he had been hovering on since the start of the conversation and planted himself back firmly on the couch on the purple couch in baxter's office for sure, there's going to be our parents for the Mina sister and her uncle, aunt, and cousin. Wait, our uncle? Our un Wait. Mina's sister and her uncle, aunt, and cousin. We have an uncle? Mina's sister, Liz, her uncle. I. We've never had an uncle, have we? And oh, Lee's parents. Oh no, where are we going to meet them? Oh wow. Some grandparents should be there, but not all of them. We'll have our friends Miranda, Terry, and Derek. Oh my God, Derek's gonna be there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. No way. We're inviting Jeremy. Oh my God, let's go. Come laugh his whole heart. We can try, but I kind of don't think he'll show up. Baxter's eyes shifted from your face to Cove's and back again. It was sharp. He was trying to read the room. A co-worker of yours? No. no. We met him as teens, barely. We were like 13 and he was a little younger. He was horrible, mean, and angry, and unre unreasonable. But thanks to Shiloh of all people, another guy we know, we met him again years later. It turns out Jeremy's okay now, more bristly than hostile. I, can't, I got kind of attached, even though we're not friends, because Jeremy is the kind of guy who won't describe anyone as a friend. Except for Pran. You met a Cove explanation with him and had matching smiles with him to boot. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe he grew on me. You've got some interesting relationships. I'll put it down and we can certainly send an invite when the time comes. Oh my god, we're gonna see Jeremy. It'll be up to Jeremy to decide what to do with the offer. Who else? You and Cove continue to come up with family members, friends, professional relations, and then... And the like to make an estimated size of the wedding. 
All the while, Baxter jotted down the information like an attentive student sitting at the front of the class. Mm -hmm. And of those who you most want and expect to be there, would you make, would any of them make up wedding parties or is everyone a normal guest? Oh, no, I want to have a wedding party. We are having, we're having everything, sorry. Right, we hadn't picked exactly who'd be in it yet, but we are having wedding parties. Of course, let's just, oh my god, let's discuss who's with who now then. It can be an equal split between the two of you, but it's not a rule. If one of you has a bigger wedding party than the other, it's completely fine. It's all about the two of you, so you can do as you please. Um, to Pidley, Cope offered his first thoughts on the matter. I don't know, but maybe it's embarrassing or even sort of dumb, but as great as my friends are, the person I'd want to be there as my best man is my dad. Oh, oh that's a perfect choice. Thank you. Oh my god. Mm, having that close of relationship with your father is a beautiful thing. Mina, do you know who will be the lead of your wedding party? And the title isn't important. Best man, best woman, or best person. Maid, man, or individual of honor. It's all fine. Oh my god. We can pick Kira. Or Miranda, or Derek, or Terry, or Lee, or Liz. Oh my god, y'all, this is so hard. I love Kira, I love Kira. I'm sorry, I have to go with Kira, I love her. As my... <gasps> maid of honor, best woman person. No, maid of honor. Very well, anyone else in the parties? Well, I'm good with whichever friends and family being in my party, but I kind of want to size the size of things to be sort of close. Everyone would probably be Mina's party if there wasn't more of a split. So if that's okay, there'd probably be three or four in parties at most. Um, aw, but I want everyone else in my party. Mina, come on, I've gotta have something. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, you're not in acceptance, great. For your own party, you chose. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Leslie. Oh, Derek and Miranda. Sorry, Terry. Actually, oh my God, why is it so hard? We can't choose them all. If we can't do our friends, let's just do our family. I'm sorry, it has to be our family. I can't leave out Terry. I'm sorry, I can't. And I'd use um, bridesmaids. Bride. Bride attendants, wedding attendants, wedding cream. No, bridesmaids. And then my party's gonna be Terry, Miranda, and Derek. And with that, you successfully mapped out the members of your wedding parties. Perfect, I'll make notes. The statement was made extra clear by the clicking noise of Baxter keenly tapping his pen in the armrest. On the topic of guests and that sort, are you open to attendees giving speeches during the reception? Oh my god, of course. We can make it only so... We can make it so only select people are arranged to say some words about the couple or have a mic open for anyone interested in taking it or discreetly cur um vent anyone from gathering the attention in order to talk. Um Let's do specific people. I don't want everyone. Yeah, you're right. Do you have names for the guests giving speeches? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can we do everyone? Can we do everyone? Can we do everyone? Oh my god! Oh, oh, really? I can do that. Let's do, let's do everyone. Could be small noises of acknowledgement as you answer the question. Yeah, we're doing everyone. Cool. Mm-hmm, good. He continued along casually, accepting all your input. And are you thinking of writing anything yourselves for custom vowels? Just remember, it's not an option, not an obligation. Oh my god, of course I'm making vowels. Cope doesn't have to. Actually, yeah, he has to. There's no pressure to make a custom declaration if you're not comfortable with it. Oh. No, I want custom vows. Are you okay with that, Cove? Of course, there's a lot I could say, and I'm gonna be really nervous either way. Cove's eyes squinted up from his cheeks as he smiled at you so sweetly. You were feeling butterflies already, and the vows hadn't even been said. Lovely, just lovely, and that is highly personal, so each you each can work on them privately outside of our appointment. Baxter relaxed into his chair and looked you both over. His smile curved widely. It was a look that made Cove nervous. You could feel him begin to fidget uncomfortably at your side. 
Let's talk a little more about traditions and wedding norms. We're all friends here, so I'll be frank. If one of you sincerely asks not to get splattered with cake or for whatever else, and the other doesn't exactly the opposite simply because they think it's funny, I would personally say it that your marriage ends. Oh my god, if you can't treat your partner and their boundaries or res with respect on your wedding, on your own wedding day, you don't deserve them as your spouse. <laughs> now, I sincerely doubt that's going to be a problem with you two, but it's uh, it's an op occupational hazard. With that said, do you have any requests pertaining to either the ceremony or the reception? We can arrange for anything special that you do want included. <gasps> oh, we could choose a cake! It'd be fun to snatch some cake in Ko's face. <laughs> Crossing his arm, Ko arched in uh, a... Oh my god, Koof arched a skeptical brow. Um, his mouth twitched and twisted as he tried to appear annoyed, but his amusement won out. A tiny titter escaped you. Oh, I see how it is. He should bid his attention to Baxter before you could speak. It's fine. I don't mind Mina having her fun. I get it. He chuckled, but you sat up straighter in your chair. His willingness to roll along with it thrilled you. Seriously, are you sure you won't be mad? Yeah, I'm always kind of messy. That stuff is more important to you than me. <laughs> he added a quit a done add an addendum to that statement. But only part of it. The rest is for eating, right? Right, there will be enough for seconds and thirds. That promise soul could have completely on the idea. <laughs> Very well. Baxter clapped his hands together with the pleased with the direction of the conversation. That's another important detail done. We should discuss who you'd like to officiate the ceremony next. Oh, wow. I can arrange for a standard just as a piece to be there, but if there's a pastor, minister, rabbi, ju rabbi, judge, or anyone else that you have in mind, please send me their contact information. Preferably right away so I can work things out with them so we're all set for the ceremony. Unsure of what to say, Cove glanced over at you. He scratched his cheek contemplatively. Um... I do have a certified figure in mind. Without another thought. Okay. Without another thought, Cove nodded. You're way ahead of me here. Let's go with whoever you want. Wonderful. Text me their info. After our meeting, I'll get everything sorted out. Now, have either of you considered how you want to arrive to the ceremony? Will one come in first and then the other comes down the aisle? Or perhaps you both want to enter together? Oh. I have my heart set on walking down the aisle. Cheap as he squirmed in your seat, Cope's mouth followed as his whole demeanor brightened. They're so cute. I love these two. I like that idea a lot. His eyes shone with the fondness that made your pulse quicken. I'll do it then. It wasn't until you until the words rolled off your tongue that the reality of them settled in. Your heart fluttered in fear, but it was still dizzying in the most exciting way. The music would swell and attention would shift to you, but it all would fall away because there was only one thing you wanted and he'd be at the other end of that aisle. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Aww, Cove's face was a shade pinker from the conversation, but he was pleased with what you both had settled all on. You were too. That sounds lovely. Baxter clicked his pen before dropping his attention to his paperwork. He glanced back up, giving you his full attention. Oh, good? and are you intending to exchange wedding bands? It is possible to skip through to, uh, to skip that uh yes we have rings R rings rings <laughs> of course we can easily save a moment for that in your ceremony thanks you couldn't help picturing the matching wedding bands you've gotten together they were oh my god we can pick the color all oh, rose gold and a v-shape oh oh a jeweled band the stones you both decided on were, oh, blue sapphires, ah, oh, oh my god, a white, oh my god, a white diamonds, wow, white diamonds, I want to do white diamonds, they were incredible, but before you completely lost focus, Baxter spoke again, so do either you want a bow, I want to have a bouquet, oh my god, yes, oh my god, I want to have a bouquet, oh my god, a small chuckle fell from Cove's lips like a grin, but Baxter was serious and waited attentively when Cove realized that. He shrugged. I like flowers, but I don't need a whole bouquet. Um, I'd like to have one. 
The shape and color of it hadn't fully formed yet in your thoughts, but part of you could already feel the weight of the flowers in your hand. A satisfied smile tugged at the corners of your mouth. Excellent choice. Let's discuss, let's discuss what it'll look like then. He leaned forward and interlaced his fingers together on the table, excited to glance at Cove and gave you a supportive thumbs up in return. <sighs> Would you mind if it had white poppies? No, it needs those. <laughs> Since the instant Baxter brought up flowers, you had been positive Cove was going to ask for those. Mm, are there any others that you'd want highlighted? Um, roses, <laughs> white poppies, and and rose. It's quite a combo, just like the two of you. This has always been our favorite flower since we were kids. And now you're bringing that to your wedding together. Ah, the epitome of romance. Bashful, Cove averted his gaze. <laughs> With that, Baxter just, Baxter picked up his pen again and took note of your s specifications. He suddenly nodded as he wrote. Well, since you're having that, that means you have the option of a bouquet toss during the reception. Huh, that kind of sounds fun. What do you think, Nina? Yeah, I want that. Definitely, we've got to do it. Cove's grin curled excitedly. Baxter's gaze lifted from his notes. Marvelous. That's about all the basics sorted out, but we still have time to talk about the ceremony itself. There's vows, but from there you can personalize it with more rituals and such. If there's any particular tradition that you'd like to have, you're welcome to let me know. I don't have things I need. I'm very traditional. I just want it to be whatever Mina hopes for. Charming. Mina. <laughs> oh my god. I like to jump the broom. Wait, what? I like a sand pouring me hand fasting. Wait, what? A floral garland. Ex <gasps> Confetti tossing. Oh my god, can we do that? He tapped his pen on the table twice. I know the perfect place to get some. It's bio biodegradable and very nice. That's awesome. Yes, thank you. Anything else? What's a floral garland exchange? A blanket? Like, what is this? I don't understand what these are. Maybe we should just do them all. A sand? Uh, what is that? Actually, no, I kind of want to do the, mm. let's just do what an exquisite addition to the ceremony. We'll have that set up for the beginning. Anything else? Let's just do all these. I like to jump the broom. Excellent, absolutely excellent. We'll arrange for that to happen at the end of the ceremony. Anything else? Yeah, I am pouring. A light chuckle escaped Baxter while he took note of that. The corner of his mouth hooked into an amused smile. That's very fitting for the two of you considering where you grew up. We love Sunset Bird. The beach will always be our home. Then that will be perfect. Anything else? Um, hand festing? I don't know what that is. Interlacing your fingers together in your lap. You pause while Backs are scribbled. Beautiful. We can make arrangements for that. Anything else? Uh, breaking of the glass. Mezeltov. <laughs> you mean while Baxter wrote down a quick note about your request? Of course. We'll make the arrangements for after the vows. Anything else? And a blanket ceremony. That's- Oh! <gasps> before the kiss. Oh my god. Okay. Eight. No. That's everything. Content with your wishes. Code nodded agreeingly. Very well. So that's the ceremony. Oh my god, this is so long. Now, any reception venue you choose will be large enough to have room for casual dancing throughout the evening, but I need to know if we should schedule for any particular kinds of dance. Such as the first dance between only you and Koba at the start, for example. Ooh, both of you turned to each other curiously. A deep red blush crept across his cheeks, and when he felt overwhelmed, Koba's gaze dropped to the floor. Alright, well, only if you're good with it, I would want to have a first dance. Oh my god, yeah, I want to have a first dance with you too. Cove perked up at your answer. Despite still being nervous, he gave an eager shimmy in his seat. You beamed, overjoyed with the idea of your first dance together as a married couple. Oh. A, a money dance? <laughs> with our parents. Oh, yeah, what's a money dance? I don't know what that is. You've been daydreaming about all these dances since the wedding planning began. You really wanted a special moment to honor how much Cove's parents matter to you. Since day one, they'd both been warm, inviting figures in your life. They didn't have to welcome you with open arms, but they always did without a second thought. You were grateful to them for so much more than their own son. <laughs> or, whatever, than their son. <laughs> a rosy blush dusted, dusted his cheeks a, a deeper pink. 
the parent dance. That'd be great, actually. And we can definitely do a money dance. What is a money dance? I don't know. Cub snickered. He hadn't initially remembered that one, but he liked the idea of it a lot. His lips curved into a bent smile, imagining it. You both had a feeling that your friends and family would enjoy showering you with good fortune and well wishes. If anyone should have that kind of dance as us, people giving out money is kind of the theme of our relationship. Oh my god. Your mouth twitched as his comment sunk in, and then you were both doubled over with laughter. He wasn't wrong. That'd be a funny way to book in that, the story of how the two of you fell in love. Um, good point. I think your dad blessed us with good fortune all along. Coop smirked, sending you into another fit of giggles. Finally, look, you thought about the pivotal day. Maybe that $20 bill was lucky. We've had each other ever since. Yeah, I guess it wasn't such a bad idea after all. Then it settled. Baxter continued to keep track of details by jotting it down on paper. He kept up with the pace of the conversation with words and writing easily. Oh, and speaking of the ceremony and reception, that's my area of expertise. If you're going on a honeymoon afterwards, that'll be something I'd recommend perhaps a travel agent for, or honestly arranging between only you two without any middle man. Cove didn't blink at the convey. We'll handle that. While we're here, it's just the day of. Well, I get it. It'd be fantastic. Now back to the wedding. Do you have a sense of, smile, of style you're aiming for? Is it formal, casual? Do you have a particular co color you want the wedding party to wear? Are the clothes for the couple meant to be a surprise for the ceremony, or would you prefer picking that out together? Um, I'm not sure. And also, what about hair? I can brush my hair out so it could be fancier, though it's, if it's not that important, I can keep it the same. Good question. What are you thinking? Mia? Why is there so much? Oh my god. You consider the series of inquiries and responded by saying, um, formal. Yeah, I can be formal for our own wedding. And, uh. Oh, red, 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 red. Oh my god, it's that. It sounds good. Also, I'd love to surprise you with my outfit. That'd be nice. You're sure, you were sure Cove would be great no matter what he picked. And Cove, I'd, it'd be wonderful to see you with a fancier hairstyle. Okay, I'll do it. Excellent work. I know this has been a lot of Q&A. There's much to consider for this big of an event. Yeah. Then Baxter's pen was placed back into the pocket it had come from. He ran his now free hands along the smooth inside edges of his jacket. Thank you too for being so forthcoming. I've got a strong idea of where this is going now. I'm already looking forward to the next meeting when we can truly get into, into specificities. I can't say that word. That's everything we're leaving? Yes, you can go, or you can see if you want. That's the end of the actual section, but I'm not throwing you out. Um, that's alright, bye. <laughs> bye, Cove. Cove awkwardly waved Baxter off, despite still being seated and not going anywhere yet. He had gotten so into the discussion of the wedding, he had forgotten his usual stiffness around Baxter for a time, but that spell broke. Baxter accepted the answer and pushed off the armrest of his chair to stand up straight. You and Cove followed his motion, getting up out of your own seats together. Uh, the wedding planner took one stride closer to the side of the room and reached out his hand towards you. No, give him a hug. He smirked, letting you wrap yourself around him. He patted your back rather than giving a complete hug himself, but he liked your version of a farewell interaction just fine. It's great that you're Baxter. <laughs> he snored loudly, highly entertained. Goodbye for today, Mina. I'm glad to have seen you. Then he offered the same gesture for Cove. Your partner accepted it casually, giving Baxter's hand a solid shake. Take care, Baxter. Thanks and same to you. You've got a wedding to prepare to be ready for. Don't forget to look out for yourself and your fiance. I'll remember. The two men released the other's hand, settling the agreement to take this chance and put a new foot forward in their relationship. With that, the two of you found your way out of the office building. The pop and sub... Oh my god, wait... Okay, the pop and subsequent click from the opening, closing car doors played out in sync between you and Cove. As he both went in for the ride back, Cove commented on the experience. The sentence was hesitant and had an upward bend that made it sound like a question. So, so that went well? Yes, it did. And that is where I'm going to leave today's episode here. Oh my god, everyone. We saw Baxter. Could you believe it? Oh my god. I am so excited. That was so much planning to do. I didn't know half of what 
that stuff was, like money dancing and floral garland stuff. Like, what the heck? I didn't know that that much planning went into a, a wedding. Like, honestly, I just thought it was you pick a venue, you pick your bridesmaids, you pick your dress, and you go and get married. <laughs> but. Yeah, I guess it's the, it is that much. But yeah, everyone, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But lastly, you're German. Thank you for watching. More for day, everyone. Bye.